Oh, hi guys. It's Ivory back with another part of Final Fantasy, yeah, Final Fantasy 7. Screwing up my intro now. And we're going straight into the Nibelheim Mountains. Ugh. And we're going to straight away get found and attack. <sighs> the enemies are no different from the time where we fought here with Sephiroth. I think, sort of. Yeah, well. <laughs> Fought with with massive mar uh, massive piles of salt, considering he did all the work. Now I am currently working towards trying to get uh, Cloud's 3.1 limit break, which is kind of weird because uh, I haven't even used one of his limit breaks on this. Uh, well, his Klim hasn't yet, so I'm being I'm getting a little ahead of myself. And this place is going to prove to be one of those places which has massively high encounter rates, isn't it? Oh, I hate this place. I really do. I think this place is like my Zozo of FF7. The Zozo of FF7. And I can see there's a box up there, so let's go see what it is. No, you will not go up there and see what it is. Well, screw you, lizard things. I don't have to sit here and take this bull crap from you. I swear that's a paralyzing attack, but it didn't seem like it was working very well. Oh well, better luck next time, yeah? That is a cloud weapon which has double, so it's better than the force stealer in all ways. Because it has added attack, an extra slot, yada yada yada. I'm gonna put the HP plus on because it's awesome. And the more I level up, the more HP I gain from it because now it's only raising my HP by 10%. But upon leveling up again, it'll hit 20, then 30, then 40, and so on. Excuse me, sirs, I have no interest in fighting you. I'm a peaceful man. <laughs> yeah, right. And that pathway on the right hand side there, I believe, is where we went with Sephiroth at one point. Notice that the bridge is mysteriously fixed, so we can go straight over. Now, I don't usually do it, I usually try to get through this area as quickly as possible, but I'm going to have a look around, see if I can explore this place a little. Now, I believe number two takes us to a pretty good item, but uh, don't take my word for that. But yeah, this area here, this area that we're in right now, is essentially the way out. So if you want to leave, you can leave now. Well. With a little trouble, of course. Oh no, they're the paralyzing one. So let's go down pipe number two and see where it takes us. Hey! That's another weapon for Tifa. As you can see, there's a giant scorpion esque thing in the way. I'm not gonna fight it yet. I'm gonna save it a little later. Uh, let's jump down. Go around. As I mentioned before, I don't really explore this place often because I never found there was really much in the way of good to be found here. But I'm going to do it this time because uh, there's a materia that I know is around here somewhere, I believe it's in the next room, that I have never gotten before. I've never bothered with it. Now, surely I need to go through that tunnel there to get to that box. I swear I do. That is weird. Ooh, is that five man? Ooh, that's a fiver. I'm going to have to kill these ones. Oh god. Is he trying to suck their brains out? That kind of reminds me of Starship Troopers. Even though I never actually saw the movie, I watched a few scenes from it, and there's a scene where the, 
where like what I assume is one of the main characters getting his brain sucked out through the top of his skull. Yeah, that was awesome. Woo! I'm noticing that we're running a little low on life around here. That is really weird. I swear I have to run through there to get to that chest. But I guess I could be wrong. Oh, whatever. It's probably nothing useful. And every time I say that, I, c I turn out to be wrong. Now, what is it? Elemental. Ah, that's where you get the other elemental material. So essentially, I can have an elemental attack on my weapon and my armor now. It's been a while since I've been in this area as well, so... Ooh, Sniper CR. Oh yeah, I remember the Sniper CR quite well, actually. That is a weapon. Ooh, another fiver. Yeah, uh, that is a weapon which uh, has perfect accuracy. It will never miss, and it's for Vincent. One of Vincent's better qualities, I must say. Oh, F you. I really don't like them. Am I running incredibly low on HP? Sit down. Well, these guys are just being mean. Unparalyzed. Do it, Cloud. Or Barrett. I don't care which. <laughs> Three of them survived. <laughs> Not for long. That's the Luego suckers. Awesome. Maybe that'll have gained Barrett his next limit break. Or not. But I did just gain Bio 2, which is quite helpful, because every little piece of damage helps. Let's go this way and see where it takes us. Ah, the path towards the Maca Reactor, Maca Reactor, something like that. What was the point of them doing this? Uh, why, why did the designers make it so I had to go a long way? Why didn't they just make it so, so that the path there kind of cut up here? That'd have been a lot more simple. But luckily I didn't get into a battle, so... I'm not actually going to go into there, because there's really no point. Now then, let's kick down that ladder. Now then, let's see... I'm going to make a guess and say that the furthest one on the left is the one that takes me down to that side a little bit. If I'm right, awesome. If I'm wrong, I give it another go. I really hate these things. I swear all they do is stare down. It can't be number six. I don't think it's number five either. Number three takes us down to the bottom. Screw it, I'm gonna give five a go, see if that works. No, actually. Yeah, we'll give five a go, see if that works. Because it's definitely not six. Six takes us down to the second level. Oh, it's five. Sweet. All materia. Right, I think that's all I can get, really, that's helpful here. After fighting this thing, we'll get quite useful material. One that I really do enjoy using. And we'll see what that is very, very soon. Depending on if I win or not, because this thing's quite tough. Alright. 
let's do this. Uh, you actually have to talk to it to activate battle, but that's the weird thing. I wonder what this thing's actually doing here, to be fairly honest. It doesn't seem like it's doing anything necessary. Oh god! All that, and you manage that much. Now this thing has about 8,400 HP, I believe. Stop! Slice! Well, there's a thousand of that gone already. Now, I'll, I'll mention now, while I can, this thing has an enemy skill as well, trying a third of the uh, little power skills, you know, beta aqualung and so on. Don't oh, also don't use beta in this battle. Do not use it. This thing is completely resistant to uh, fire, so don't use it. I don't know if I can steal anything from this. I've never actually tried. This guy's not liking Barrett either. Nothing. Well, that's a shame because most bosses usually do have something to steal. I should probably also mention that White Wind is also helpful for another reason. And that reason is the fact that it cannot be, uh, you know, defended with magic barrier. So, uh, it's useful if you've got that. Now let's, uh, let's get Choker Mold. Stun this guy for a few seconds. Minutes or something. I'm going to give Death Blow another go. Let's hope this thing stuns it anyway. Because it failed against Lost Number. Yay, it succeeded. Cross Slash is another go uh, good way to stun enemies, because it has the stun effect as well. Seal Evil, of course, is also another good uh, freeze effect. I'm not actually sure what I want to use on this. Let's try Quake, see how well that does. Well, that didn't do very much. And he's unfrozen already. Oh, well. This battle's going quite well so far. Until he pulls out trying and absolutely kicks my ass. I'm hoping he does that before I kill him, obviously, otherwise I won't get it. Because there's only one other place I believe I can get it, and that is with Godo. And that is a place where we will be visiting somewhat soon, I'd say. Actually, maybe not. Depends. Oh god, not again. Why is the scorpion hating on Barrett so much? I swear to god, it's like that church in Texas or Kentucky or something like that. The racist church that uh, hates interracial marriage. That's, that's kind of crappy, guys. Come on. Man, I am hitting this thing hard. And this thing also has Cure too, so we're going to have to do more damage than he can heal. In fact, I'm okay with him healing, as long as he uh, uses Trine soon. There we are. Right on schedule. Let's just hope it doesn't do too much damage. Uh, I think... Ooh, I thought for a second there it killed Ares. Which is going to... That's the bad thing about Healing Wind. It does absolutely nothing if you're near to death. This could be the point in which this battle goes against me. Or not. <laughs> Gotta love White Wind. And again. No! Ow, ow. God damn it. Well, at least those two are nicely healed up. I could probably hit him with his own magic now, but I don't... Oh, I've just enough. Oh, I thought he was trying on me again. I thought, fuck you, Jesus, stop using it.
Ha ha ha, my turn. I didn't do anywhere near as much as his did. Chuck one of the face, motherfucker! Boo. Okay, he's stunned. Everyone! Someone's cheap on me. Again, boots. Summons in this game are really unexplained. I mean, in FF4, they're explained as being monsters that can be summoned by only a certain pe people, which is like Rydia and so on and so forth. In... Let's just make sure this doesn't kill me. Good. Everyone got a limit break. Fire him off quickly! Uh, in FF5, I don't think they're explained there either. In FF6, they're quite integral to the plot, being, you know, terrors, uh, like, family and shit. As for FF8, they're explained. They're, like, you know... Well, actually, I don't think they're explained. In fact, I don't think anyone explains how they came to be. Apart from maybe FF6. Gem ring, woo. And there's that material I was talking about. Counter, I love this material. Incredibly helpful. <laughs> or at least I think it is. If, if you don't think it is, then that's your thing. Alright. See you later, suckers! And if you notice, we also have to leave the buggy behind now, so it's all walking from now on. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave off here for now, and uh, I'll see you on Rocket Town. So until then, this is Cyrus signing out. Peace.